It's a nice morning out there, 72 degrees, pretty early. So Greg will have your forecast in just a bit. Imagine perfectly cooked steaks and tender salmon with no culinary training. Well, maybe a little bit, but, but not a lot of expertise involved. Just put the food in a plastic pouch and forget it. Well, it's called sous vide. And it's a big growing trend in cooking. Chef Elise Wiggins from Panzano is here to talk more about this. There's actually a company here in Colorado that yeah. sells the sous vide gear. Absolutely. They're out of Broomfield, I believe. Yeah, they're based here, so it's so awesome. We're cooking right now, and it barely even feels hot. How does sous vide work? What's going on? So what you do is you actually you take one of these pouches, okay. and um, like I have today is going to be lamb rib chops. It's going to be grilled, so you just kind of pre-season it. Okay. And uh, just like you would if you were going to cook it normally. Exactly, exactly. And what's beautiful about sous vide is that uh, you have the little um, plastic folded down. What's beautiful about this is that it actually cooks in its own juices. You can put a little butter in here, but mainly it's just seasoning that you put in here. Okay. And then you roll it up. And um, just this, vacuum sealing yeah, it. Yeah, right? and so this, this vacuum sealer is actually not plugged in, so I won't be able to show you how it removes the oxygen, but what's what's beautiful about that is you normally press down and then right. it removes all the oxygen out and it seals it. Um, and then over here, if you see, you've got some in here. This is set for ribs, 143 degrees exactly. It's it doesn't perfect. seem very hot. No, it, it's, but it's hot enough to break down the connective tissue. So the whole point behind sous vide is controlling of temperature, slowly breaking down the connective tissue, or slowly cooking something where it's perfect. And I'm not talking close to perfect perfect every time. Really? I mean, because yeah. you've cooked meat, I'm sure, every possible way as a chef. I have, I have. And then, you know, what, what's easy, people look at this and they get intimidated, but it's really, you just set the temperature, set the timing, all the sous vide machines come with like a guide, right. and they tell you exactly what to do and how long you need to do it, and you just set it and you go. So literally, you take it out here, you can see it's like trapped in its own juices. Yeah. There's no extra liquid trapped in its own juices. And then from here, you open the bag. And what I've done is um, after it's been cooking for 18 hours, I grill it. So this is a grilled lamb. And, just to um, give it the char. Just to give it the char. Sure. But it's going to be super, super tender. Um, and so from here, what we do is we'll take this off. And then I'll just glaze it just like you would do for a normal barbecue. Okay. This is a maple um, balsamic fig glaze. Why do you think it's getting more popular? Do you think the technology for, for doing it has gotten better and easier? People want to be able to control and have the best product. Sure. You know, and a lot of people, the, the, when they fall victim on the grill during the summertime is that they'll leave, their grill will be too hot, they can't control the temperature. And with sous vide, you control the temperature exactly. You never have to worry about overcooking. It's that low and slow, kind of like barbecue, isn't just, it? Just like barbecue, but even more controlled controlled and in a moist environment. So if you take a look at this, look at that. You can still see the moisture in here that's locked in there. Absolutely gorgeous. And not one piece, but every piece. You know, when you do, when you cook on the grill, straight yeah. on the grill, you have to worry about, well, you have the ends that are going to dry out, but look at that. Here's the end piece, and it's still moist. And you, you, I mean, what converted you to sous vide? What made you think, all right, this is, this is a really cool way to cook? Um, just because, just doing just research results. and yeah, and yeah. learning about, you know, how wonderful and how it cooks in its own moisture. So why would you not want to do that? Like not risking. And the thing is like, people just don't understand that. Like you can just set it and go. The, the ribs cook for 18 hours. So sure. literally you put it on your countertop, kind of like a, a crock pot where you set right. it and you go. So you don't have to worry about it. And then when you're ready, very, so very like the cool. next day, if you're having a party, you just have everybody over and you're just like, hey, you know, just pop it out. And when you're ready, you take them out of the pouch. They're nice and hot. Cool. And uh, then you grill it, and then everybody's ready to eat. So well, it's really easy. we got to run. Chef Elise, thank you so much. We've got a lot more information about Sous Vide Supreme, the company up in Broomfield, at kdvr.com. Click on the Good Day tab. Brooke. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Kirk. A message.